outdoor baseball now from the warehouse district and Target Field here in downtown Minneapolis. Tonight, a battle of two first place squads between the New York Yankees and the Minnesota Twins. The Twins look to match the longest winning streak in baseball history. Coming up next. Into the box now, Edwin Encarnacion. He'll get us started in this one under Leading the lights. Tonight for the Yankees, the first baseman, Edwin First offering on its way. And we what are underway pitch. from the Twin Seven Cities ten. as the first pitch of the evening is taken for ball one. Aye. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. The one one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. Two and two the count. Two and two count. Here it comes. Fly ball to straightaway left. Chasing after it is Rosario. He's not going to get to it. So the leadoff guys aboard with a base hit. Next for New York, Brett Gardner. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Number 11, Brett Gardner. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. And that misses ball one. Count one and oh. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. This is flared out towards second. One there, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. So one got in the that inning here with a runner at first, and that'll bring in D.J. LeMayhew. LeMayhew. Now a throw over to first. From the stretch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. The 1-0 is in there for strike one. Gardner stands at first with one out. Nope. Well That's below ball. the knees laid off on the change up there. Throw over to first and the runner back easily. And the 2 1 pitch. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Runner at second here with one man out. The 2 2 one more time. And now the runner's trying for third. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. Here's another 2 2. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And there are two away now. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Austin Romine. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Here comes the first pitch. Grounded foul. Two outs here with a runner at third. Hey. Called strike two with the letters. 0 and 2 now. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Okay, so now is where I think you pull the string, throw the El Cambio up there. Hasn't seen it yet, and I think he's set up for it right here. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Ball two. Men on third with two down.
got him looking, and that ends the inning. Here's Nelson Cruz now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Twins, the right fielder, Nelson. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Line toward the gap in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Up next for Minnesota, Jason Castro. The catcher. Castro. Now the first pitch from CC. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. Sharp ground ball to third. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. Coming to the plate now, Aire Adrianza. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Adrianza. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. From a hitter's perspective, you knock the donut off your bat knowing two things. This pitcher is out on the mound looking for a strikeout or a double play. So you better set your sights at least belt high. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Here's C.J. Crone now. Batting four. The first baseman, C.J. Crone. First pitch of the at-bat. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Outside with the cut fastball there, and it's a two-ball count. Boy, this is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like this. 2-0 count. We'll see right here if he lays one in there to give him a pitch to swing at. Two balls and a strike to C.J. Crone. The count now at 2-2. Two and two. Drilled on the ground is short. Gregorius has it. The second for one to Encarnacion, who's got it, and that retires the side. Here's Didi Gregorius, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Here comes the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Looked like a slider, perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's 2-0. and oh. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. The 2-1. Blind to shortstop, and there's one away. That'll bring in that Giovanni good. Urshela. The third baseman, Gio Urshela. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Cave is there. Two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. That will bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. First pitch on its way. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Liner into right center. That's a base hit. So digging in now, Aaron Hicks. Hicks. He takes the his first cuts in this one with a man at first Aaron and two away. Hicks. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss. That one tied him up. A 
and two. Here it comes. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Two balls and two strikes to Hicks now. Judge, the runner at first with two gone. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. The next twin up, Jonathan Scope. He set to lead off the whole half of the second. The second baseman, Jonathan. First pitch of the at bat on its way. That finds the zone a called strike. If you know you got a real patient hitter at the plate, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here attacking the zone 0 0 and getting ahead. Fouled away. 0 2 coming from Sabathia. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Now batting, Eddie Rosario. The left fielder, Eddie Rosario. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Two and zero oh to the oh, Twins' left good. fielder. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Three and zero oh to him now. He loses him on ball four. Standing in for Hippolanco. First shot for him That's here with a runner at first Jorge. now and one away. Polanco. Now the first pitch from CeCe. Grounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball here. 0-1. Ball one is that one didn't really threaten the inside corner. A ball and two strikes to the Twins shortstop. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. LeMay here for one. On to first. And that's two innings and two double plays they've hit into so far as the inning is over. And now is the Yankees DH. Luke Voigt. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Luke Ford pitch on the way. Third inning starts with a slider that's looked at here for ball one. Hit to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And a great job to stick with it here as he gets the first out of the inning. Now back. Back to the top of the order now. And that will bring up the power bat of Edwin Encarnacion. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Low with a fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. Cut fastball misses downstairs and it's 2-0 and now. Pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees first baseman. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. The 2-2. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. He's certainly done an amazing job right here, grinding to get early two outs with the number two hitter and the middle of the order lurking. He would love to see three, four, five with no one on base next inning. Grounded to the right. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And no chance at all to make a play here. So despite the effort, the inning will continue. Now battle. 
Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's set and the pitch. Ball one. LeMayhew is undoubtedly one of the best hitters in the sport, and it doesn't matter right-handed or left-handed pitching. He's one of the elite threats with a bat in his hands. Count now a ball and a strike. Gardner is off of first with two away. Two and one. Throw over to the bag and a dive, but he's back. And another throw over. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. The 2-1 home. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Back goes Rosario. Gone! So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Austin Romine. He'll look to bounce Austin. back after striking out his last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. Line to the right side, and that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Cole Stewart is going to come on to pitch here, and in just now the third it. inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Gregorio. Didi Gregorius will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. He's set. Here it comes. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. But this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. So here's Jake Cave to the plate. And a quick Leading glance off. at the Four numbers will tell you it's been a Those huge struggle for him at the plate Jake. this year. Hey, we're still hey. in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really nope. key for this leadoff guy to try to nope. get on and get a big inning started. Now the 1 0 from CC. Yeah. And he looks at a slider in there, 1 and 1. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Left side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Now it will be the Minnesota DH, Marwin Gonzalez. As he'll hitter. get his first opportunity in this one. Gonzalez. First offering on its way. Bottom part of the zone and the slider is in there for a called strike. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Late that time for a strike. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone, or you're going to ground into a double play. So he goes yeah, swinging. Sure. Marwin yeah, Gonzalez is yeah. retired for the Ooh. first out here in the bottom half of the third. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Look and a throw to first by Sabathia. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. Sabathia ready with the 0-1. Fouled off. Can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. 
That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it, fouling it away. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Here he comes again, one, two. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Into right field, that's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Jason now Castro, the catcher, the is catcher. in. A base hit in his first trip. Yeah, and they take another Castro. single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. One ball, no strikes to count. One and one to Jason Castro. You know, the old adage is you never throw a lefty down and in because their ability to turn and burn, and this pitcher's taking that to heart. He is throwing everything away right here. One and two to the Twins catcher. And it's fouled away. Q shot here out towards short. So this is pulled in by the shortstop. So two on with two away. Now and A. Ray Adrianza will be the next to bat. A. Ray. Sabathia pauses. First pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. The 0 1 on its way. Outside for a ball, one and one. That's a really tough pitch to do anything with. The backdoor slider just off the plate, just missing the strike zone. That's nearly an unhittable pitch to hit for a hitter. Two balls and a strike to count. Two two fouled away. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Settling in now Gio Urshela he flew out in his last at bat the third baseman Gio Urshela. First offering on its way. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Nope, Sets the target low here and it misses one and one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Two balls and a strike. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Hit on the ground to third. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Riding in, Aaron Judge, one for one after a single this first time up. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball just misses, that's ball one. Ball two now. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. Two runs, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Back up the middle, and that is through into center field for a one-out single. Ready now, Aaron Hicks comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Aaron Hicks. 
first pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. The 1 1 home misses for the second ball. Now a move over to first and a dive, but he's back in there. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Cave is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So two are gone now in the Yankee the half of the fourth, the and up next, the power bat of Luke Voigt. Boy. Here comes the first pitch. In there, 0 and 1. Judge leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Ground ball. Oh, and that's off the second base bag. Reined in. And they won't get you. Just now don't that's see that's very that's often. Edwin. And Cardinal Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Hey. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Fastball, and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Digging in now for the Yankees, Brett Gardner. Now batting, the center fielder, Brett Gardner. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. And he takes ball one. A ball and a strike. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back-to-back -back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. Ready with the 1-1. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. The 1-2 pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Three and two to the Yankee center fielder. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. That hot shot to first base and a great play to end the inning. Digging in, C.J. Crone. He sets a lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. The first baseman, C.J. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled straight back. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Ball one. Ball one. You Four know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality Three pitch on 1 and 1. A ball and two strikes count. now. One and two. And he struck him out. Here's Jonathan Scope now. He's 0 for 1 now thus far. Second baseman, Jonathan. Go. First delivery to him on the way. Fouled off. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Hicks is under it. Two down. In so now, Eddie Robert Rosario. Money. He drew a base Eddie. on balls his first time up. Rosario. Now the pitch. 
Cut fastball taken for strike one. This guy has been throwing the ball so well, and that's exactly why. He has such a feel for that secondary pitch. He can flip it over whenever he wants and get back in the count. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Hacks again. DJ LeMayhew as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. First offering on its way. Slapped hard the opposite way. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. At the plate, Austin Romine. One for two on his line so far in the game. Romine. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Fastball well outside. The 1 1 is taken for ball two. LeMahieu gets his lead at first, nobody out. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Ready once again, Didi Gregorius. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. He's going, he's going. Runners off for second. He swings and misses. Throw down. He is in time as Castro got him. The one two is laid off for ball two. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be. Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. Ready for another shot now. now. Gio Urshela. He comes in 0 for Gio 2 thus far. Urshela. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, Just off the outside, and it's 1 and 0. Hey. And he looks at a changeup in there, 1 and 1. Ready with the 1 and 1. A ball and two strikes. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Got him. Into the box now, Jorge Polanco. Leading off for the clear. The shortstop, Jorge. Now the first oh, pitch from CC. Right Here back to work is Sabathia as he gets ahead of the first batter here. Nothing in one. Hey, as an offense, you do your homework, you scout. He hasn't been using that pitch an awful lot. I say you just throw that out. If he's going to flip that occasionally for a strike, then so be it. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. This is back toward the mound. And this is taken for the out. So now stepping in, Jake Cave. Jake Cave. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. 
Didn't miss by much there, but it's just a bit high. A high strike there, and it's one and one. Hit down the line at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, the utility man extraordinaire, Marwin Gonzalez. Sabathia into his motion. Here comes the first pitch. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And no one will track it down. Sabathia ready with the 0-1. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the back. Line toward right center. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Nelson Cruz. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball a ball and no strikes. Just oh, off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. Man, he just missed the zone right there. One of the toughest pitches in the game, that backdoor cutter. As an offensive player, you give up on that pitch. As soon as it comes out of the hand, next thing you know, it's trying to grab the corner. Taken, but called for strike two on the outer part of the zone. And Sabathia misses here. It runs full now, three and two. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the runner at first will be in motion. On to Encarnacion at first, and that ends the inning. Tyler Duffy will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Tyler Duffy. Here's Big Aaron Judge. Leading off with the game. The right music, number 99. Aaron Judge. Now here's the pitch. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. The Into the box, the Aaron left. Hicks. As the Aaron switch hitter will take his Hicks. cuts left-handed here. This is somewhat of a cause for concern. This guy needs to hit better left-handed against right-handed pitching. The short hit hard. Polanco fields it cleanly. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they were pulled the out. Now that, the 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 stepping in, moving boy. One for Four. two in the ball game thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes hit the other way out toward right field moving under it Cruz no trouble with this one and the inning is over now with the play Jason Castro a hit in two tries for him so far the catcher Jason he's ready here's the first offering way behind that pitch it's 0 and 1 well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Not the greatest of game plans, though. Stays alive, still 0-2. The 0-2 once more from Sabathia. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. The bouncer to the left side. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. At the plate, the Aire Adrianza. Been a little unfortunate so far with a couple of hard-hit balls that have resulted in lineouts. First pitch coming, here it is. Upper part of the zone there, but taken for a strike. Line drive to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Coming to the plate now, C.J. Crone. No hits to this point. 
Whoa. First offering on its way. Whoa. And he lays off there 1-0. Hey, you can tell by the look on that manager's face, he's obviously frustrated right now. But it's a long season. You're going to have a lot of ebbs and flows with your offense. Does he take a step back and relax a little bit, or does he call a team meeting right after this one? Line shot to third, and the side is retired. Welcome back to Target Field here in Minneapolis. Yankees leading this one as we get ready to start the seventh. But before we do, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Edwin Encarnacion now. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. The first baseman, Edwin Encarnacion. Here it comes. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Tough spot in the game right here. You have a very close call that doesn't go your way. This is when you have to really regroup as a pitcher and go out there and try to make quality pitches. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. One gone here in the Yankee seventh. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. First pitch of the at-bat. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. center field as he's aboard with a one out single digging in and looking for more DJ LeMayhew he singled his last time up now a throw over and he has to dive but he's back in easily perhaps wisely another look to first keeping particularly close tabs on him Here comes the first pitch. Whoa, a there. fastball here, too low. It's 1 and 0. Runners on the move for second. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Rosario is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. So it's a runner at first now with bad. two men out. And the up catcher. next, the catcher, Austin, Austin. Romine. Romine. From the stretch. No, now a breaking ball, but it's low. Hey. A ball and a strike. Look out. One and one. The one one is no, a low changeup that's laid off. Now a throw over to first, no, and he'll dive back in. Gardner, the runner at first with two gone. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. And it's fouled away. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Pitch inside the throw. Not going to get him as he swipes second. Now the payoff pitch home. Down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. At the plate, Jonathan Scope. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. 1 and 0 oh, the count. Ground ball foul down the left side. Slider just off the black there, and it's to two and one now. To the left side, but it's well foul. 
the 2 2. Fly ball right down the line and left. Hicks is under it. One down. So striding forward now, Eddie Rosario. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. This is one of those classic cases of the right guy at the right spot. They need to get a rally going, and this is maybe their best hitter. So he's the right guy in the right spot for this team right now. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Gardner is there, two gone. Stepping up now, Jorge Polanco. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Jorge Polanco. First pitch of the at bat. Now a slider to start him out, but that breaks down and in for ball one. Hard hit towards center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So it's a runner at first with two men out. Uh, and in to hit so next will be Jake so Kayer. Jake. From go the stretch, go. here's the pitch. Pitch outside. The throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. No runs on six hits and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. Hard liner but picked up on a hop. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over. Number 19 is on and he'll take over on the mound in relief. So striding in, Didi Gregorius. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The shortstop. First delivery to him on the way. And a ball 1 and 0. Two balls and no strikes. Three and O oh now. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. The 3 0 pitch popped up. Adrianza in foul ground, and he brings it in on the warning track. Striding into the now box, Gio Urshela. He's hitless in Gio. three at bats to this Urshella. point. He's set and the pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, one and oh. The one and oh delivery. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Ready for another chance? Aaron Judge hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. No balls in one strike. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0 and 2. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again.
Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. He'll stand in now against CC Sabathia to get the inning That's started. The Starting to run out of time. Right. They haven't been able to score Good any runs ball. as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy nope. to try to get on base and ignite a rally. One ball, no strikes to count. Now Sabathia's 1-1. Strike two is that's taken on the outside part of the plate. One two pitch is a slider that misses two and two. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Stepping in, Cruz. Nelson Cruz. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A.B. that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Now the one and one pitch. Misses ball two. two. Well, he's throwing a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. Two balls and two strikes now. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. And Sabathia misses here. It runs full now, three and two. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. Judge is over to his right as he puts this one away, two down. Stepping yeah, into the box, the Jason Kessler. Castro. He was a ground out victim last time up. Now the first pitch from CC. Weak grounder. And this winds up hitting the first base bag. And the throw will be too late at first. So a strange play there as it wind up with an infield single. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And A. Ray Adrianza will be the next to bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there, no balls and a strike. We're moving right along into this one. This guy's continuing to pitch well, which is a little bit of a surprise because his first pitch strike ratio is still under 60%. And that'll get down for a base hit. Adam Ottavino enters here looking to get the now final that. out before the, the ninth inning. Man. Steven Arias will come on now Whoa. and pinch run here. C.J. Crone will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Lays off 1-0. and oh. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. Oh. Well, 2-0 oh now, and this is where he makes his money. If he gets a pitch to hack at, you can bet he's not going to hold back. The 2-0 oh on the way. Outside, 3-0 oh now. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. I got three more. There's a three fastball more. right down Broadway taken for a strike. Line drive to left. And he stretches out and left, but this is off his glove. The runner scores from second, and they inch a little bit closer. It's now a two-to-one ball game. Max Kepler now will be summoned down to be the pinch runner. Striding in once Go. again, Jonathan Scope, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. 
Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Nope. The 0 1 is a fastball low, and that evens the count at 1 and 1. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Fastball well outside. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at-bat of the night so far. And he fouls this one off. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Fouled away. Payoff pitch on its way. Another one sent foul. And he misses ball four. So now that potential tying run scoots up 90 feet to third base. Now Zach Britton comes it. on now, and this Eddie. move looks to be all about playing the matchup oh, yeah. here. Yeah, that, that's usually the right move, but we'll just have to see how this plays out. Here comes the first pitch. Left side, but well foul. on the ground towards short played on the backhand throw over to LeMayhew at second and that'll do it stepping in and ready for another shot Aaron Hicks no hits in three tries so far he struck out once Aaron Hicks Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Now the 0-2 pitch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Hey, I can understand why he wanted to elevate the fastball right there. This batter's eyes have been lit up since he stepped in the box. Let's see if he gets him fishing on something breaking in the dirt right here. Grounder down the line at third. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Now batter. But the next will be the designated hitter, Luke Voigt. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's set. Here it comes. Called a strike on the outer half. 0 and 1. Here's a look over to first, and he'll dive back in safely. Oh one. Here's the pitch. Back up the middle. Taken in by Scope to second for one. On to first, and they get them both. So the base is empty now after the double play. And here comes the first baseman, Edwin Encarnacion. First pitch coming. Here it is. Slider bends into the middle of the strike zone, taken for a strike. And it's one and one. The one one is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. And 
and they set up away with the fastball but it misses three and one. In there on the inside corner don't know that he liked it but it's a full count now three and two. And he nope. lost him here on 3 2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. The center field. Here's Brett Gardner now. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Fouled off. Encarnacion is off of first with two away. Working for the punch out and the offering. A dive, but it's off his glove. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. So, please. with a save situation now on tap, they'll hand the ball over to a formidable force indeed. Aroldis. The very hard throwing left hander, Aroldis Chapman. For the Yankees. Stepping in, Jorge Polanco. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Area. A defensive team for the Yankees. Now playing first pitch. Ready with the first pitch. Number Here it comes. Mac. Now a swing and a ground ball. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And here's a slider strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Digging in once again, Jake Cave. He's working on a one for three thus far. And the pitch. And a fastball just misses for ball one. Lays oh, no. off again, and it's 2-0. and oh. Chapman has tossed over 30 innings so far this season. With an ERA just under two and a half. That's allowing just over two runs per nine innings of work. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. Now to the plate, Marwin Gonzalez. They'll be looking for something he can drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. The victory here would go to CC Sabathia if the lead holds up. And he misses with it. One and one. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay oh, off of it. Off-speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to three and one. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Twins' yeah, DH. That straight smoke at 99, guys. It's almost unfair. 3-2 pitch. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring Final position back. at second. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 1. A roll this Chapman. They call him the Cuban missile. Well, he needs to start firing some bullets right here. He's in trouble, but I would bet against him getting out of this mess. Counts even at one and one to Nelson Cruz. I changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. And that misses two and two. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. 
No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. And he misses ball four. Now so now that potential tying run scoops up 90 feet to third base. Stepping up to the plate, Jason Castro, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Squeeze attempt, but it's popped up. Through the first in time, but the safety squeeze there gets him a run. Digging in, Steven Arias. A two-out hit and win it. Fast baller, wild pitch would do the trick just as well. Here's the first pitch. And that misses for ball one. Big spot here. Possible winning run at third. Two down. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened. And it's now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. And the Twins are going to walk home.